Hello YouTube. I'm starting my braidlock journal. I officially braided my hair. Well, had my hair braided on October the 13th, and today is November the 24th, and it's been approximately five to six weeks since I had it done, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. I've gotten plenty of new growth, which I need to tighten my roots up, but I uh, haven't gotten around to that yet. I'm just trying to see how it will act. I tried tightening up some of these on the top to see what effect that would get, but I have plenty of new growth in the back. I'll turn around. a lot of people talk about you know why they do it and you know I myself got tired of the chemicals I used to wear my hair pressed most of the time but as I got a little older and you know start having hot flashes and all the other good old stuff too much sweat couldn't do it couldn't do it so I decided well get a relaxer. It was cool for a while, you know, but that relaxing every six weeks was getting old, 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 old. And I just decided, well, you know, I saw so many nice looking locks on friends of mine and online and, you know, it was always something I wanted to do. I always wanted to, you know, be pretty, not low maintenance, but, um, carefree, I guess, you know, get up and go and keep it going and not think about it anymore. So, um, that's pretty much where I stand. I have a relaxer on my ends. Uh, the last time I got a relaxer was the end of June. And so it's almost six months. It'll be six months at the end of December, but I have a considerable amount of new growth, you know, because I waited about three months before I got the braids put in. So, that's pretty much where I stand. I have to color my hair because I'm not ready for the gray yet. So, I'm going to, I'm going to try to be as natural as possible, but I'm going to have color. And since I'm talking about braids, I might as well, you know, talk about other things that are going on in my life. I know a lot of the ladies, they have their, you know, makeup, blogs and stuff. And, you know, their eyeshadow and stuff. And I can't have C, so makeup isn't my thing. I mean, I call myself playing, you know stylish yesterday and screwed my eyebrows up. So, now I have to play artist and draw them so they look like something. And, uh, let's see. Oh, I'll talk about my fingernails because they're pretty colorful, I guess. You know. And I guess you're wondering what happened here. They're all done this wonderful snazzy color with this pinkish and the little red on there. And yesterday in the car, I was fiddling around. I guess I caught it on the mirror and plop, popped it off. And I'm just going to glue it on and say, I hate me, but I didn't because it's kind of low, so I figured I need to do it. But I was too tired and trifling to polish it last night. And I was going to do it today, but tired and trifling round two. So, I didn't do it. Maybe I'll make a video for me polishing my nail. But here are the two colors that I have. This one is Sexy Silhouette by China Glaze. 
and this one is Ruby Pumps by China Glade. I like that Ruby Pumps. I like slippers but pumps. You know you can get into trouble with pumps on. Okay, and uh, let's see what else. Okay, AOL. Uh, my knitting. I can talk about my knitting. I've, uh, I really like to knit socks. So, here's one sock. A little anklet sock that I started on. Well, it's finished, but I did one. And here's the other sock. I'm working on it. And I'm working on some more little socks here. Nothing for me is little, but more socks. Um, uh, these are bed socks because I made a pair at the beginning of this year and they were just so comfortable oh my god oh my god they were so comfortable and Dora Dumbass me was washing clothes and grabbing stuff and threw one of them into the washing machine they're wool socks small feet. So I'm making another pair because it's so comfortable. These are my sleep size, so I'm gonna make them so I'll be able to sleep and walk around and so comfortable. And what else? I have my scarf that I just finished. It's a cool scarf. I'm not really a scarf wearer, especially in California. You know, we don't have, you know, most of our scarves are for style. You know, we're not like a real, you know, have real weather that would, you know, real inclement weather, I should say, that would cause someone to put a scarf on and need to wear it. But I get up pretty early in the morning, so I'll need it, I think. I don't know how much I'm gonna need it. I don't have a neck much, but I'll be trying to wear it. I don't give it away. So that's pretty much it. I think I'll get back to you when I, you know, tighten them up and show what they look like after I tighten them. And I'll probably make another video to show the polishing my finger down and when I finish my socks and if I start anything else anything else that comes along I'll try to get that in too so until later have a good one and I'll be seeing you soon